So we are here today to, I guess, talk about some things. This video doesn't even have to be that long. Um, would you like to say anything? I don't even know where to, my heart is just racing. I don't even know where to start. Me and Anthony, this isn't the video where we're going to sit here and talk and vent and just expose each other and do all this other stuff because we already talked last night and we stayed up until like 5.30 in the morning. Literally. Um, yeah, like literally 5.30 in the morning. So this isn't supposed to be like the bashing full video. This is more so to be like the reality of it mm -hmm. and things that have settled in. Um, we're not together. It's not a prank. I don't know if it's like in denial. Um, I think this video is going to be mostly for closure type purposes for like everybody in mm -hmm. a way. Um, I know you guys like I, I hate when uh, people split up or if my favorite show ends and you know it ended in like a cliffhanger. People are like, oh yes. my gosh, what's happening next? Like this is so, this is the curtain is it the curtain call i took theater i can't remember curtain call means it's opening i guess this is the curtain close um for a chapter and you know we're not together oh. again i wanted to say that i'm sorry again, I oh, i'm to say, sorry as well say i'm sorry to you as well um a lot of things could have been very different A lot of things didn't have to go out that the way that they did. No, they didn't. A lot of things could have been avoided. A lot. And it wasn't even big things, it was little things. Um, but they were big things. That added up? Yeah. <sighs> we were engaged, I'd never been engaged before. I never really brought anybody around my family. Didn't really date. I'm so glad that you were able to uh, make a connection with my family. So glad that you were able to see my family. And I'm so glad that we were able to make a connection with each other. I'm sorry, I'm just trying not to cry. But sometimes things are not meant to be in a certain um, time frame era. Mm -hmm. I do love you very much. I love you too. And I will never change. <laughs> you will always and forever be my first love, no matter what. And I will always be here for you. <laughs> but in this... In this time, we gotta... Step away. We have to grow. I have to grow and do better. So at this time, I know we love each other, but it's just, it's not the time. I think that it's also, um, I think it's very, again, I know I already said this, but I feel like I am trying to knock, again, like I said, trying to knock down barriers to open up and not manipulate. And actually, like I said, um, give people a different 
side of me, give people insight into what goes on in my life without trying to scam like a lot of YouTubers do, without trying to manipulate like a lot of YouTubers do. Um, I do think it's disrespectful that some people out there just disregard my true feelings, that it's just, like I said, it's real. Um, I'm happy that I'm able to show my life with y'all and you know, that's what I signed up for. I don't, like I said, I don't believe that anybody should be left in the dark about anything that goes on or anything that happens um, with me, my relationship or whatever. Um, a lot of people say, you know, you don't, like people don't deserve an explanation and I mean, however you want to view that, people don't deserve an explanation, but um, how I treat my supporters, my subscribers, fans, whatever y'all want to call yourselves or whatever in general, um, I consider y'all family. I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, there's been a lot of pain and there's been a lot of hurt in 2020. There's been a lot of pain and hurt this month, this past month. Um, never wanted to make anybody feel less than that. Um, it feels really empty here without you. I feel the same way. Feels weird not coming home to you anymore. It's sad because I even got off work and started driving this way. And halfway here, I had to recognize it's hard. I feel like I lost my family. That's including y'all as well. Very hard. But, you know, we have to do what's best for each other at the end of the day. And I know I fully love this man and I don't see nobody else in my future in any time soon, like at all. So I'm not going anywhere. But I will be working on myself and trying to, you know, do better. I just, I've never been in love like this before. It hurts way too much to even think about losing you. So I'd even be here just as a friend if I need to be. And I'll always be here for you. I was going through old photos, old videos, and you know, I was looking through and I was like, oh wow, like I actually cherish these memories and I cherish this, and I remember this time, but you know, even through those times, like couples, they go through whatever, their couple stuff, this is, it's normal to go through hardship. Even those times whenever I was looking at those photos, like I cherished this memory, we probably were going through something then, but it's the journey. Mm -hmm. And I vow to use your time. That was the best of time.
Oh, you've been looking up on um, every single picture is you and me. Past two years have been you and me. If I was even to delete that, it would be deleting two years of my life. That's not even, I can't even think that way. No. That's memories. Oh, everything I could delete that. Brains all over the place. <laughs> yeah. But I hate crying. I know you guys still probably have answers as well. I uh, I want to know what's going to happen with the OnlyFans. Like Anthony and I, we're still going to talk to each other. We have intertwined our lives together. So there's still things that need to be taken care of. There's still communication that needs to be had. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say that the OnlyFans stuff would stop. So that's still going on and we'll work it out as it goes. YouTube will still be up and I'll still be posting things regularly. Um, I'll still be posting on Instagram. I'll still be posting on Twitter. I'm still gonna be active. This isn't the last time you'll see this dashing face. Um, don't know if a social media break would happen, but I feel like being gone for a month was a social media break. Um, life is hard at the moment, but um, it's going to be okay. It will be. Well, like I said, this video doesn't have to be super long. It doesn't have to have really long dramatic pauses. Yeah. Um, I love you. I love you too. Regardless. That will never change. So. Yeah. So, that is the end of this video. You can like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow us on the Instagram. Um, and like I said, you can subscribe to anything you want, <laughs> and... No, I was just gonna like, yeah, all platforms, across all. Yep. And I will see y'all in the next video. Deuces. You know, in the last video I said goodbye, that's the first time I said goodbye. It's <laughs> just like, it's like, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Is it still recording? I don't know. I think it is. But that was the worst thing I've ever had to do. <sighs> Me too.